In our second part of the lesson, we're going to factor by grouping. You can factor by grouping as long as you meet three conditions. Number one, there are four or more fat terms. Usually we're going to say an even number of terms. Those terms have some common factors that we can put together. And when I put those together, what I factor out is going to be identical or they're going to be the exact opposite of each other, additive inverse. Here's an example. I've got AX plus BX plus AY plus BY. I've got four terms. I can split those into two at a time. I notice the first two I can factor an X out. I notice the last two I can factor a Y out. When I factor that X and Y out, notice my parentheses are the same. So I factor, I can factor out the A plus B. I can factor out the parentheses. So what's left over is X plus Y. Let's do a few problems and some different variations of those. So I look at my first example on the next page. I've got four terms and I notice I have some common factors in the first two terms and I've got some common factors in the next two terms. So I'm going to do that. So let's group these together. So I'm going to say 4QR plus 8R, 3Q plus 6. What goes in the first two terms? Well, I notice I can take a 4R out of both of those. So then I'll have, I took the 4 out, I've got a Q and that's it. Plus Two, because 4 times H is 2. Everybody got the R. Now we'll look at my next two terms. I don't have a letter that goes into both of them, but I got a 3 that goes into both of them. So I'm going to say plus 3 parentheses, and then I'll have Q plus 2. Do you see how the parentheses are the same? I'm going to highlight those so we can see that. So that means I can, I can factor out the parentheses. So I'm factoring out a parenthesis. So what's left over? I factor out the parentheses. Well, the first term would be 4R, and the second term is going to be 3. And there you have it. Let's take a look at another example here. We're going to take a look at a few of these so we can see. I don't know what's, what I, I did something there. I'll get out of there. There we go. Now, look at the next two. This one, I see a problem. 2u squared v and 15. They don't have anything in common, do they? But I could maybe switch them around. So let's do that. Let's go 2u squared v. Instead of saying minus 15, let's go minus 6u squared. I'll just flip them around. I'll say minus 15 plus 5v. Okay, then I look at my first two terms. Can I factor that? Yes, I can. I notice 2u goes into the first two terms. So I'll say 2u, and I don't like it when I, my u's and v's, they look way too similar for my handwriting. So 2u squared. So I already got 2u squared, so I've got the v left over minus 2 times 3 is 6. I've already got the u squared. Now whenever I have a two terms and my first one's negative. I always like to factor out my factor out a negative from a leading coefficient. So I'm going to factor out in this case, I'm going to factor out negative five. So negative five goes into both of them. So negative five times what gives me negative 15? Well, that gives me positive three, then, doesn't it? And then negative five times what gives me 5e? That would be negative v. And I notice these are not the same, are they? They're exactly opposite. So what I should have done is not factor out a negative. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change my sign. So I'm going to erase this part. And instead of factoring out a negative 3, I'm going to factor out a positive 3. I probably would have noticed that if I would have written it in standard form too. Write the, write the one with the variable first. So 3, then I'll have negative 5. Whoops, not, not 3. How about positive 5? Well, erase that again, so I'll try positive 5 this time. Then I'll have negative 3 plus v. Notice negative 3 plus v is the same as v minus 3, so I think I'm going to rewrite that. So I have v minus 3 plus 5 times v minus 3. 
So now I notice my parentheses are the same. So I'm gonna factor out that parentheses. The ones I like to, I like to write those first when I factor them. So I'm gonna say V minus three. And then what's left over, if I take out V minus three is two U squared plus five. So on this problem, what makes it different from our first one is I noticed I couldn't factor a common factor of the first two terms, so I rearranged them. And you have to do some guessing and checking. You have to uh, erase some problems. So I would not suggest you do this in pen. Do this in pencil unless you want to start over each time. Okay, let's take a look at my next term. I notice 2mk I, and 12m, well, there's a common factor there. I notice 42 and negative 7k. Unlike my last one, I think I'm going to rewrite this with the k coming first. Because I don't, I want to write this in standard form. So I'm going to say 2mk minus 12m. I'll say minus 7k plus 42. So write your terms in standard form for each pair. Now I'll look at my first two. And I notice 2m can be factored out of those. So I have a k left over minus 2, what, two times what gives me 12. That will be 6. Then I'll factor out a negative 7. Unlike, unlike the last time, I'm going to keep, whenever my first term is negative, I'm going to factor a negative out. So I'm going to go negative 7. Now I'll get k, positive k minus 6. Now notice this time it worked out really nice. My k minus 6 are, exa are exactly the same, aren't they? So then I get k minus 6 times 2m minus 7. Now we've done a couple of these together. Before we do the third one, or the last one, I should say, I would suggest you pause the video, see if you can do this one yourself. Okay, I look at my, I look at my first two terms. I notice they have a common factor. And my last two terms, they have a common factor. So I'm gonna factor that out. So what goes into both 21 and three? Three does. And I have b to the fourth, because b to the fourth is in both terms. So 3 times what gives me 21? That gives me 7. Already got b to the 4th. Minus, already got the 3. And I've already got the b to the 4th, so I've got a. Plus, if I look in the next one, 4 goes into both of those. So then I'll have a minus 7. And once again, I notice that a minus 7 is not the same as 7 minus a, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recopy this. 3b to the 4th times 7 minus a. Instead, I'm going to factor it a negative 4, which means I'll have negative 7 or negative a plus 7 because a negative times a negative is a positive. Now I've got 7 minus a and negative a plus 7. So I think I'll rewrite that so they look the same. So I'll say 3b to the 4th times 7 minus a minus 4 times 7 minus a. I could have written the first one as negative a plus 7 too, but it, I chose to do it this way. I notice my parentheses are the same, so that's what I'm going to factor out. Once you get the parentheses are the same, that's what you factor out. So we're going to have 7 minus a times 3b to the fourth minus 4. And that's what's left over, and that is our answer. That's factoring by grouping probably the, one of the most complex things you're gonna do in this unit.